coming from Phuket in Thailand for the past four weeks. I've been training Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai here at Bang Tao Muay Thai and MMA. Today I'm going to take you through my training day, but first it's time for a nutritious breakfast. Here we are, I'm about to jump into the 10 a.m. Nogi class. This week we've been working escapes and attacks from bottom side control. Let's go. Persona's all is hopeless in the game now. The wrong devotion flows through those who chase the same cloud. The pollen floating through the industry got this congested. I'm XXL if they fit the pen in. Fuck who they pick as freshmen. I SMS it, DM and it double send it till they get the message. I road trip the left with. Nothing I've been in the city of angels long enough to sit and question their successes. Who they paying, who they get in bed with. Oh, I can't trust a nigga. You rub a nigga wrong. Heard to get to your position that you suck a nigga off. And cover ups are troublesome. They hear a couple months and back up on the struggle bus i see the shoe fitting well on you cinderella boys cause dressing feminine stepping in as a selling point renting toys taking pics hope you break a thousand likes claim you got that life but niggas never see you out at night all right we just finished up the morning nogi class it was a great class by coach alex and then followed by five pretty tough roles a couple of things on my list now the first one is rehydrate get electrolytes in get some water in because as you can probably see, I'm sweating heaps when I train and especially here in the heat and humidity in Thailand. And another thing that you have to keep in mind here with those conditions is skin infection, staph infection. So the second uh, point on my list will be jumping into the shower and showering after every single training session here to at least lower the risk of catching something. And once I get out of the shower, I'm going to um, get into the restaurant and order some food. It's probably just going to be a smoothie today, something light because I have another training session in a couple of hours. Make sure that I get in some protein and carbs to replenish my body as well so that I'm ready for the multi private this afternoon. of rest and recovery now and now it's time for the Muay Thai private with a big boss here coach Bia. Once I had a private with him by myself I think my average heart rate across a one hour session was 161 so wish me luck. Uh, I say him and I bless up rest uh, the right perspective back when I was driving a vetra my mind was on a setup and ease no time for the let up and breeze young man with a vision my ammunition was let off and squeeze talking no about it so exotic go to Mala never hold a product Though we wildin', we was on the island wave Fast forward now today, thank God my mama prayed Looking back and seeing all that God has made <laughs> With his legacy, daddy showed me the whole entire page The death of me, I will hold it and say Messiah's name Gonna fire lane, but I also know that time will change This entire frame is bound to go as far as the came How you know it? Poets, they show it. I've been up and had my lowest, the lowest. I can't control this or hold us. To my final breath, I tell them this can go in the moment. <laughs> Me flow is like water, I'm forced through the fire, I'm feeling like gold Gotta stay grinding, stay down to earth, following God and you grinding, you do as you told I don't work to make you like me, but I'm front and center, word is Spike Lee And God came in the nick of time, they think I'm crazy, but I might be Thanks. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. 
All right, that was it for the day. Enough training done. It was probably my 10 session or so with Bia. And he's an amazing coach. He's been able to basically teach me Muay Thai from the ground up. I'm still pretty close to the ground. I'm still doing a million things wrong, I assume. But with every session, maybe I can fix a thing or two. He's been great, like not overwhelming us, but just uh, training us step by step and also giving us a really good workout. Once again, it's time to rehydrate now and then actually have my first uh, solid meal today. I haven't had one yet. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to have a rest day. We're keeping track of our strain as well, our recovery, our sleep. Um, through the whoop sensor. So we're making sure we're tracking um, our training intensity and volume so that we do not get into any overreaching or overtraining territory. If you want to learn more about this, you can click the video right here to learn about overtraining. And by the way, we are probably going to take Bia, our Muay Thai coach, through a uh, strength and conditioning session next week. So by the time you watch this, maybe the video is already up. I'm going to link it right here. See you in the next one.